Hi, my name is Bob Bannerberg. I'm with the Department of Management in the Terry College of Business at the University of Georgia, and I'm going to be teaching the Advanced Structural Equation Modeling 1 workshop in Detroit in May. In this workshop, uh, we're going to cover three areas. I'm going to start out with uh, a real extensive theoretical review of the measurement and variance test that uh, Chuck Lance and myself uh, published about in uh, the year 2000 organizational research method. We're going to start out with uh, a, a going up with the uh, what is called configural invariance all the way through to testing uh, the differences between groups on latent mean differences and in all eight other tests that are between those two extremes. I'm going to uh, lecture about half the time with that and then the other half the time I'm going to turn it over to you to actually run some examples so that you can begin to develop a library of examples that you have run yourself. After measurement and variance, we'll move on to uh, longitudinal data analysis. Uh, and again, I'll spend some time on the theory underlying longitudinal analysis, what it is, the time frames involved in it, um, what different um, vectors of change may look like across time, and such topics as that. Then I'm going to move very specifically into latent growth modeling. Um, Again, talk um, a little bit about the underlying theory uh, with it, but then after this theoretical review, we'll begin to do examples of latent growth modeling, beginning with um, what are called the um, a level one test, which basically is asking the question: Is there change in time across time in the variables of interest? And then we'll move into latent two tests, which are actually incorporating the vectors of change in some sort of structural model that you may have theoretical interest. Again, it's going to be about half lecture and then turn it over to you to actually run some examples with the data that I've provided. So again, you can keep adding to your library. After that, um, we'll move into what I, topic I call kind of non-recursive modeling. So this is getting into the, what happens if you have feedback or feedback loops in your models. How do you test for that? This um, uh, though leads into first a discussion on what is known as model fit, a real extensive discussion of it because uh, fit, particularly local fit, not necessarily global fit, becomes very important here. So I'm going to actually run you through uh, a, a series of four steps that you can do to actually look at model fit uh, or identification issues, I'm sorry, and then, and then get into the whole issue about uh, non-recursive or feedback loop modeling. As I mentioned a couple times, I tend to lecture about half the time, and the other half the time I turn it over to you to actually run examples. I'll provide the data so that everybody has a common database, and I know the examples work uh, in this common database then. You are welcome to bring your own. It just may be a problem, though, with me helping you troubleshoot. I also use M+, and I would highly encourage you to also have M+, on your computers. Um, there are a lot of things that M-plus can do as a structural equation modeling program that are not available in uh, the other uh, SEM packages, and uh, therefore um, you may just want to have that on the computer that you're going to be bringing to the workshop. If you have any questions, uh, please contact me at rvandenb at uga.edu. Again, that's rvandenb at uga.edu. And I look forward to seeing you in May in Detroit. Thank you.